Hello everyone, Brian Richards here and welcome back to my channel. I think it's time to learn another math magic trick. Are you ready? <laughs> All right, for this trick, you're going to need a regular ordinary deck of cards. It can be missing some cards. That's good news for many of you because I know many of you do not play with a full deck. Am I right? You know I'm right. Okay, so get out a pack of cards and let's get started. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make a couple packets of cards over here. Actually, I'm just gonna make two packets of cards. There we go. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have you choose a card. You can take any one. We'll just say you choose this one right here. Look at the card and memorize the card. Do you have it? <laughs> uh, I'll just, just for the sake of the tutorial, I wanna know what it is myself. So it's the queen of spades. Okay, cool. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the queen of spades right here in the middle of these two packets. And what we're going to do is we're gonna actually shuffle them up. Gonna give them a good little mix up, good little mix up, just like this. This way, they're pretty well mixed, kind of like so. Now, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get rid of a card and I'm gonna keep a card. Watch, get rid of it, keep it, 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 get rid of it, keep it. And we're gonna go through just like this and we're gonna do the same thing again. Get rid of a card and keep it, get rid of a card, keep it, get rid of a card, keep it. And again, I'm gonna pick up this packet, gonna get rid of a card, keep it, get rid of a card and check it out. It is indeed the chosen card, the queen of spades. Pretty cool, right? Now, before I explain this trick, do me a favor and hit like, and make sure you subscribe to my channel. That way, you can be up to date on all of the latest magic trick videos that I'm uploading. But let's get back into the tutorial. Okay, my friends, here is how this trick is done. What you are going to do ahead of time is you want to actually mark one card. And what I did was I put a little dot right here. You can actually do it, do it on both corners, the top left corners, in case the card spins around. If you want to, I just did it on this corner. Um, and it's just a little dot, so that way I know what this one card is. This one card doesn't really matter what it is, but you're gonna mark it with a little dot. If you wanna do it in a more secretive way, <laughs> you can color in the angel or something like that. Uh, but I just put a little dot there, because usually people People don't ever ever notice that now what you're going to do is you're going to actually make two piles of seven cards now the first pile what you want to do is put the first card down the one that has the pencil dot and then I usually grab like two and then two and then two so seven cards and then over here you want to maybe grab like three cards and then like four cards you're putting basically putting seven into each pile but don't count them and don't make it obvious that there's seven cards in each pile don't even point out the fact that there's seven cards just say I'm gonna make two packets of uh, two piles of cards and then leave it like that and then you're gonna have someone choose a card we'll just say it's this one that they choose it doesn't matter which one it's the seven of hearts whichever one gets picked what you're gonna do is you're gonna take their chosen card you're gonna have them put it on top of the pile that has the pencil mark on the bottom of it so they take their card they put it there you're gonna take the remaining stack and you're gonna put it on top so that seven of hearts is gonna be uh, in the middle of all the of, of the two piles now, if you were to go through the action of get rid of keep, get rid of keep, it's going to work. But I, what I do is I like to add this little, this little shuffle. It looks like a shuffle. It's not really a shuffle. Uh, basically, what you're doing is you're cutting the deck where you would normally cut a deck. You, you take like whatever pack off the top and you take the bottom pack and you put it on top of on top of the, uh, the top packet. But instead of doing like a cut, what you're doing is you're just kind of spreading the cards in your hand. And wherever you want to grab up to, you can grab like up to a certain card and you're going to split the, the spread and whatever piles on the bottom, you're going to basically put on top. And you're going to do the same thing again and whatever you take from the bottom all the way up to whatever card, whatever, wherever you split it, you're going to bring it to the top. And you can do this, you can do it like a thicker, you could do it near the bottom, whatever you want to do, whatever cards you take off the bottom, you bring to the top. And all you're really doing is you're cutting the deck. Now, the last time that you're spreading this, what you want to do is you want to look for your pencil dot, your marking, there it is, and you're going to grab all the cards just below it. That's where you're going to split it. And you're going to bring those cards to the top, which is bringing that pencil dot to the bottom of the packet. By doing this, it looks like you shuffle them, but actually in the end, the cards are exactly in the same order. And their chosen card, the seven hearts in this case, is going to be the exact middle card of the 15 cards. Okay, so that pencil dot just kind of helps you to bring it back to its original position. Now, all you're going to do is you're going to pick up the pile and you're going to get rid of the first card and then you're going to deal the next one. 
get rid of the next for the next card deal again get rid of it keep it 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 and you're going to do this until you get to the end then you're going to pick up the pile that you just dealt and you're going to start all over again you're going to get rid of it keep it get rid of it keep it get rid of it keep it get rid of it and then this last packet you just get rid of it keep it get rid of it and to everyone's amazement it is their chosen card well, I hope you enjoyed that. And you know what makes this trick extra fun is adding something to the math part. The math part is amazing, but when you add a false shuffle or you add a just a, a what appears to be a shuffle, like I did, that just makes this an extra fuller. So have some fun with this. Go fool your friends and have a great time, but I have to go get a haircut. Not all of them, just like this one right here. It's kind of it's just like a little bit longer than the rest of them. So I'll see you next time.